Are you tired of your edits looking too cartoonish and want your quality to look natural and high quality? Well, you've landed in the right place. I've collaborated with AIRT and in this video, I will be teaching you how to use AIRT Video Enhancer to achieve that crisp quality. This is basically another AI upskilling software like Topaz. Before I begin this tutorial, I just want to say that I think this software works best for low resolution clips as it polishes the videos without sharpening it too much, making it less look like AI. and more natural. So if you've recorded a random video outside or downloaded some 240p VHS clip off YouTube, then this tutorial is for you. I recommend only using this software once because it's quite powerful. So finish your edit first on After Effects, then import it into the Upscaler, and then import it back into After Effects to add your coloring and your text. And finally, export your edit with Media Encoder. So when you first land in the software, it's gonna ask you to import what clip you want. So that's what I'm gonna do. Over here, as you can see, my clip looks okay, but we obviously want to make that better and cleaner. Um, so as you can see over here, it's basically the timeline where you can adjust, like drag the parts to like where you want it to upscale. And obviously over here, when you click preview, or it will just automatically generate the default model of what it could upscale to. So as you can see, this is like before and this is after. As you can see, it just makes it darker in my opinion this model is not the one we're looking for so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the top right and this is you can select what hardware you have i just leave on mine on default because yeah i'm not too bothered about that and here are the ai models so basically here are the different type of models so for the first model it's called mo detail hq version 2 and this is basically to generate more details and the second model is Smooth HQ V2, basically to eliminate flaws for your videos. And then finally, we have Super Video VHQ, which is personally my favorite, and this is optimized for low light denoising. And then we have the instructions for using like the scaling one. This basically change keeps the quality, I mean, upscales the quality, but then it, ke it keeps the video to this to the same size with original video I mean okay so right now we're gonna start with the um, mode detail and um I think it's already generated but this is what it looks like and I think it was that was literally the default one but anyways yeah and for you know over here it says upscale and you basically select how many times you want to upscale it um you know basically one is basically default and then two is just it just zooms in so I but yeah, I mean, it looks okay. Um, for Turbo, this is, if you want the best quality, don't tick this. This is for, if, say like you've got a slow PC and you just want it to render fast, you know what I mean? Just then select Turbo. But like, yeah, I wouldn't use that. Okay, so now we're going to try Smooth HQ and we'll see the difference. Okay, I mean, this just looks like it's just smoothing everything. This literally just looks like Topaz. Um, so I don't really like this one, so we're gonna use another one. It's called Super Video. This is my favorite. This is the best one in my opinion. So wait for this. As you can see, guys, the quality is literally insane. Like if we look at before and after, this is before, and this is after, guys. Like this looks like it still looks natural in my opinion. Like if we go to another frame, like look, kaboom. This is insane, like it's it's so good. Um I can compare this to Topaz in a second. So the next thing is is the edit tab. And basically what you can do is literally you can like flip your video, literally adjust it, you can crop it, and yeah. For frame interpolation, you can literally change it to what F FPS you want. And if you want 120 FPS, which I don't recommend, just, just keep it default. If you want smooth edits, then you can use this to like convert it. Uh, you can also click the slow motion if you want the slow motion for it, but yeah, as you know. But this um, upscaling software also has a audio denoise option, and this is quite good. Say like you have like a voiceover and it's just like really grainy and it's doing like this blur sound. You can literally just change the models to the, your liking and adjust it and it should get rid of that noise. But that's basically it. And then to export your video, all you want to do is just want to select here, make sure it's on MP4. 
and then select whatever you want yeah obviously h.264 is basically mp4 and make sure your audio codec is aac since like mp3 sometimes doesn't work and um you just basically select where you want to save your um files and rename it to whatever and then what you want to do is to literally click export and it would save there but guys that's literally how you do it